Hey guys, Sim16 Warfare, and today I have a new uh, Black Ops 2 commentary for you guys today, a new weapon guide. This is for the Shotgun S12, and basically this is going to be a weapon guide on this S12. What attachments you want to use for the gun, and uh, what kind of class up you want to run as well. First off, this is a S12, and it is a semi-automatic shotgun in Black Ops 2. It has 10 bullets in the clip, and it is very effective at sh short range. It's like most of shotguns, it really doesn't have much of a range, so outside of its effective range, you will eventually do no damage. So it is very important, with as with all sh shotguns, to get as close to your enemy as possible in order to secure the kill. Now basically, before I tell you why I like this shotgun and um, the disadvantages and advantages to using the shotgun, I will tell you something about some of its stats as well. Um, it has a 14, it has a uh, 30 to 6 damage ratio with 8 pellets. So this means that it does have a pretty high damage and uh, close quarters you should be able to insta-kill. However, it has less damage than most of the other shotguns when compared to the shotgun class. So, you won't be getting as many insta-kills as say the Remington, but you, you can still get a fair amount of insta-kills at a short range. It has fairly average range for the shotgun category, so like I said earlier, you really want to get as close as possible to your enemy in order to secure the kill. Um, it has a 10 round mag, which is pretty good capacity, but knowing how it is a semi-automatic weapon, it tends to lose a lot of ammo pretty fast. So its reload time is also very short. Um, with a slow reload, I don't know the exact times, however it is pretty short. So this is something to take into consideration while using the shotgun because it does burn through a lot of ammo like I said earlier. Um, its fire rate is a pretty high fire rate for the shotguns, capped at 468 uh, rounds per minute. The actual fire cap is a little higher than that so if you pull the trigger as fast as possible you should be able to get a little bit higher fire rate than those numbers. Um, so basically those, that is the basic overview for the stats of the shotgun. Um, this shotgun is really useful for wiping out multiple enemies of the team. Because it is semi-automatic, it has that ability to instantly output fire onto an enemy and groups of enemies as well, unlike the Remington or the KSG where they're just one shot, one kill weapons. Uh, taking into consideration that it does have uh, average damage for the shotgun category, and um, average range for the shock, shotgun court category as well. You want to maximize these um, these stats in order to make the best of the shotgun. Because a lot of times, even though you can get insta kills at short range, it will most likely take two to three shots to kill your opponent. So you definitely want to maximize those attributes. Also, the biggest disadvantage to using this gun, in my opinion, is definitely going to be the um, the reload time as it does have a short reload uh, uh, not a short what am I saying it has a um, slow reload time as well so fast mags or extended mags whatever you're choosing is definitely required for this weapon so for the class we have for the S12 we have fast mag and lawn barrel fast mag is, is definitely one of those attachments you have to have because it does have a slow reload and you will be burning through a lot of ammo very very fast as it is semi-automatic in most shots one's going to take two to three shots to kill. So basically with fast mags it will increase the reload, the reload speed dramatically so very useful for the shotgun. The second attachment is going to be the lawn barrel which is definitely an attachment you should definitely consider for all shotguns as it increases their range by 15% and increases their insta-kill damage within that range. This will help you conserve ammo and um, improve your close quarters flexibility as well as inc slightly increasing your long range capability as well. So just in case you are a little bit out of range than normal, you will be able to get the kill, hopefully. So for my backup weapon, I have the RPG. An explosive is also always good with an RPG because, I mean with a shotgun, because you know this is supposed to be a short range rushing weapon and sometimes you need that explosive power to take through groups. For the um, the perks, we're focusing on kill streak accusation, and um, definitely we want to improve how fast we maneuver with the shotgun. Because like I said before, you want to get as close as possible to your enemy in order for the shotguns to be effective at all. So lightweight will help you speed past your opponents, and overall get a lot closer to them, so you're able to get the kill. Um, 
some uh, we have hard lines, so we are better able to get the kill streaks that you want if you're going for uh, higher kill streaks like the Osprey Gunner um, or lower kill streaks like the UAV. I know there is no Osprey Gunner in this game, but that's what I just like to call it. Um, the final two perks also help with using the shotgun dexterity. Makes it so that when you bring your weapon up faster when you use when you're sprinting. And a lot of times with the shotguns, you are going to be sprinting towards your opponent. As like I said earlier, you want to get as close as possible to them. This will make it a lot easier for you to get on target and kill the opponent. Finally, extreme conditioning, like I said again, helps you maneuver ma around long maps and run uh, farther, so you will be able to get closer to your opponent. All these perks help you get close to your opponent, which increases the likelihood of an insta-kill and um, actually acquiring the kill. Basically, this is my most favorite of the shotguns because it does have a very good clip capacity and it is able to take out multiple people at a time. It also has, with its average damage and range that can be improved by the lawn barrel, this can make this an extremely powerful uh, semi-automatic shotgun that most weapons can't compete with at close quarters because you're firing so many shots so fast, um, there's just no way even some of the SMGs will be able to compete with you. So this is a very good gun. I like to play more defensively with this gun, definitely hang around in buildings, up stairways, things like that. Um, it goes very well with an RPG, crossbow, explosive. This helps increase the weapon's range if the enemy is out of range, and it gives the class overall an explosive punch. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is M16 Warfare. Hope you like my S12 weapon guide for Black Ops 2. I I'm making more guides like this in the future, as well as for Modern Warfare 3. Thanks for watching, guys. This is M16 Warfare.